okay dear students let us see what is there three resistors of resistance is 1 ohm 6 ohm and 6 ohm are connected as shown the voltmeter is ideal so ideal voltmeter has a meaning now what is that ideal voltmeter means that the resistance of this is infinite and the branch in which this voltmeter is connected current will become zero so there will be no current in this branch so complete current will pass through this it will go like this and now the current will get shared equally with each other because both of the resistances are the same and then the current will move like this but no current will move in this branch first thing is clear the cell has the emf 12 volt with negligible internal resistance but it is given one ohm okay anyways it is the external so internal resistance is negligible fine what is the reading of the voltmeter so to find the reading of the voltmeter um, there is a concept here there is a concept of terminal voltage or terminal potential difference now what is this this is the potential difference across a battery across a battery when current is passing through it when current is passing through it now if the current is not passing through it so i will say that the potential difference across battery when no current is passing through it <clears throat> When no current is passing, this is known as EMF, electromotive force. This is EMF. And if the current is passing through it, it is known as terminal voltage. And there is a formula for discharging, like the current is withdrawn from the battery. This terminal voltage is E minus IR, where R is the internal resistor or whatever resistor we are using here. And in the case of charging, this VT becomes E plus IR. Charging means current is entering into the positive terminal of the battery. But in this case, current is definitely getting out of the positive terminal. So it is the clear cut case of discharging. So we would be using this formula. Now this was the background theory E VT is equal to E minus IR. Now to apply this formula VT is equal to E minus IR, we need to find the current. Now I will be a little bit, a little bit more quicker. So first of all, we have to find the current that is passing through it. How? This resistance and this resistance are in parallel. So by using the parallel R equivalent, R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So we are getting 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6, which will come out to be equal to 3. So this is 3 ohm and this one in series. So the total R equivalent will be 4 ohm. So what will be the net current? Current will be... 12 divided by 4 so it is going to come out to be equal to 3 ampere so 3 ampere current is being withdrawn from the battery so what is the terminal voltage now e minus i r isn't it vt is equal to e minus i r this is the formula that i have just told you this external resistor is acting as if it is the internal resistor only. So, what is this? 12 minus 3 is 9 volt. And there you go. We have D as our correct answer. So, this is how we solve this question. Very beautifully placed. There are a couple of uh, concepts that we have discussed. Like what is an ideal voltmeter? And what is terminal voltage? What is EMF? The theory. And then we have solved the numerical. This is Professor Varun and this is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it and do share the video with your friends. All the best.